It's 10 past 11 on Wednesday the 20th of October 2021 and just in the last half hour it's been announced that Steve Bruce has been sacked as manager of Newcastle United. So what's going to happen next? It's coming up. Hello my name's Eddie, welcome to my channel Tyneside Life and at the minute Tyneside Life is all about Newcastle United. So if you're new to the channel and you want to be kept up to date with what's going on, make sure you hit the subscribe button so every time I release another video, you'll be instantly notified. So there we have it. At last, Steve Bruce has been sacked as manager of Newcastle United. Not before time. Don't get us wrong, um, I do sympathise for the guy. Um, no, he wasn't good enough for Newcastle United, but in my opinion, he did put his heart and soul into trying his best to get us up the table. Unfortunately, he was shackled to the limitations that uh, Mike Ashley imposed on him. Nonetheless, he's gone, and I do personally wish him all the best for the future. And now it's time to start looking for another manager. I do understand that Graham Jones is gonna take charge on an interim basis until another manager comes in. Another name emerging over the past 24 hours or so is the Portuguese and former Roma boss, Paulo Fonseca, I think that's how you pronounce his name. So he's out of contract at the moment, he's out of work, so there wouldn't be any compensation to pay. By all accounts, he would be a good addition to Newcastle United. Other names still being banded about are Frank Lampard and Eddie Howe, but I'm sure we're going to find out in the next few days. I have to say, Steve Bruce should have been sacked before the, the game on Sunday against Spurs because all it's done is it's shrouded the club in some negative press and attention. So in my opinion, that was a bit of a faux pas by Amanda Staveley and the rest of the board. But now we can look forward to some exciting times for Newcastle United. I'm just absolutely thrilled about what's happening. But I'm under no illusion that we are in a, a really tough predicament. And things actually may get a bit worse before they start to get better. So as fans, I'm going to be, and I would implore anybody watching this, just to be patient. Stop getting on everybody's back. Uh, stop creating a drama out of every little thing that's going on at the club. This is a time of change, there's going to be turmoil, there's going to be uncertainty and some confusion, but I'm absolutely convinced, you know, that over the next two or three months, we're going to start to turn this ship around and then start and move up the table. But it's going to be a long, hard slog, and what the club need is our support. Look, we've just heard in the past half an hour or so that Steve Bruce has been sacked. How do you feel? Oh, I'm over the moon. I was. We've been through this long run of where we've had no like wins, nothing, no motivation to do anything, and we're finally going to get something. It's what we've wanted for ages. So, who do you personally think um, might be put in as a manager, or who would you want? Um, I'm not really sure to be fair, because there's quite a few names we put up, but I've seen like the likes of Wayne Rooney and all that, but we're not too certain on those sort of players. Cause some managers. I've heard the, the former Roma boss Paolo Fonseca has been linked. Do you know much about him? Yeah, hopefully it would be a good one to have. He's quite a good manager as well. Exciting times though, eh? Yeah, I'm really, I'm over the moon. So there you have it. Outside St James's Park, hot off the press, Steve Bruce is sacked. So if you like this video, like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give us a like if you like the video. Tell us what you think in the comments below about who you think should or might become the next manager and until next time see you soon if you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment i release the next one make sure you hit the subscribe button